And then what we see is um, after the uh, implementation of the TCA, uh, those things are no longer, these kind of bars are no longer crossing the zero line and they're above the zero line. And what that tells you is that products that are more exposed to the EU, they, we import more of them from the EU, have higher price growth than products that we import less of from the EU. And that's kind of the key finding. And what I want to highlight is that we see, uh, so this red line is the 2019 general election. And what we see is, uh, you kind of can't see it so much here, but we see that prices of those products start to rise in anticipation. Um, before, uh, in, in that period, but crucially kind of before uh, anything happened to do with the pandemic. And during the period of the pandemic, if we split this thing out by months, so these are quarters, but we can split it out monthly, we don't see any correlation in the changes um, with kind of events that happen um, with COVID. So it's not like the lockdowns are happening, that's driving this difference between EU imports and non-EU imports. It does seem to be lined up exactly with the implementation of the TCA and a little bit of anticipatory effects when the current government got into, into power and you know, it became clear that we're going to have a Brexit where the UK is going to leave the customs union and the single market, or confirmed further. <laughs>